Avon Grove Charter School, I feel, is an outlet. It's a place where you can truly be yourself. It's a place for characters. It's a place where students learn to live simply so others can simply live. This is Sasha. He's a well-known student here and he's been trying to achieve something. A full court shot. And he's just about to reach it. This is Sasha Navakov from Avon Grove Charter School. This is a video of the day of Charter. Avon Grove Charter has been known for many things. It's, uh, it's well known for being a very small school, uh, very family-like, very close-knit community. There's been a lot of things said about it. Uh, a common saying is, you know you're from Charter when... And I like that. I like when people get creative and they have a own personal saying for this school. But my question is, what makes Charter unique? My name is Paul Parenti. Uh, I've been a teacher here at AGCS six years. This will be the end of my sixth year in the spring. Uh, I teach English and drama. During your time employed at AGCS, what has really changed? I think the biggest change here has been uh, our growing population. What was your first impression of our little school? Well, it was a positive. I was a first impression was how big it was. I guess I expected to be a tiny little charter school with maybe three people in each grade. <laughs> no, it's certainly a lot bigger than that. And. Uh, and it, it's really impressive out here. Better that we have more kids? In a way, yes. Is it not so great as well? Sure. I mean, my number one goal is to learn one unique thing about every student that walks through my door. Um, I was taught that in student teaching, and that's my absolute goal by the end of the year, is to say, okay, I know one thing about every kid in this classroom right now that I can have a conversation with them about. Is that hard with almost, gosh, 120 kids in my classroom from day to day? Definitely. Without a doubt. But I make it my priority to do that because that's part of what being a teacher is about, in my opinion. Uh, when I came, classes were generally very small. And though um, many classes are still fairly small by public school standards, I think um, they are growing. And that makes greater demands on the uh, on those of us who are teachers, and it makes greater demands on the students because that intimate relationship you share with your students uh, changes. And uh, what did I think when I first came here? Um, I thought it was a very like open school. There's a lot of people here that aren't like people at other schools. It's kind of like I don't know. They took all the cool kids out of all the other school districts and put them into one little group, and they were like, "This is where like, all the cool kids go to school." There's no one who's like a bad person here. They're all like pretty chill. So, would you say that AGCS is a good learning environment because of that? Um, I would say it's a great learning environment because of that. Because the people here are a lot more helpful and a lot more like generous with their time than say people at another school. I have had a unique opportunity to witness firsthand just how unique AGCS can be. AGCS is more than a school, it's a second home to students who have found the spirit of AGCS in tune with their own. Dr. Brady. Hi, my name is Doug Rowland. Uh, I came here in seventh grade. Uh, what I expected from Charter was like maybe a bigger school, or like a, but I, I don't know, I've never really been to a real school before I was homeschooled all my life until seventh grade so when I came here it's kind of like a whole new experience a whole new world for me so everything was really new to me but like when I what I expected was kind of what like the TV shows and the movies showed me and like a really big public school so when I came here it was kind of a relief that it was kind of smaller and more like of a family setting so I really I like I enjoyed that you know one of the things I always thought was kind of cool about the school was that I think there's a high level of compassion for, for all types of people here. Mm -hmm. um, we don't see a lot of students that maybe 
not getting bullied here where maybe they were coming from a situation or a school where they did get bullied a lot. Um, so I think I think for me that's kind of one of the unique things is just the students themselves and the 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 level of compassion that, that they show towards one another and, and the willingness to work with one another and um, you know while, while I think it's perfectly natural for people to kind of gravitate towards their own circle of friends that are kind of similar to them or have the same interests, um, it's not so clicky as maybe your, your typical public school where, you know, this lunch table's the jocks, this lunch table's the cheerleaders, you know, this table's that. I, I think you don't see that so much here. Would you say, uh, and you've been here for, like you said, just so not even that long, you know, but you, you've seen to really enjoy it. And, uh, and people here I know like you and, and everything, you know, everything seems to be working out. But would you say that you have a real sense of pride here? You charter They're, the teachers are great the academics are great the kids are great everything I I'm so proud to say that I went here and I get to say that this was I'm gonna say later in my life that this was the high school I went to I'm not even gonna mention that you over any other place because this is where I really got to grow as a person and learn and I'm really really happy to have been able to find this place and go here and you know coming from Octorera and and having your experience there, then coming here, would you say that you like where AGCS is heading in its future? I, I like where AGCS is heading. We have a really, really um, uh, communicative, communicative uh, environment here. Everyone really knows each other. Everyone uh, at least has some idea what the other person is, is up to. And so that really helps the teachers, especially when reaching out to students, getting them to learn. Uh, it, it's in an interactive environment, and it's a great place to learn. Does AGCS offer the best form of education? Well, it's very hard to say that there's a best or a worst, but of all of the of all of the educations I've gotten at all of the schools that I've attended, Avon Grove Charter is, is clear, far, way ahead of all of the schools that I've attended. And the format that they seem to have here seems to work very well. The teachers generally seem pretty darn happy, and when they're complaining, I mean, they're still working. And I really appreciate that. So I, I can't speak for all different uh, ways of teaching and instructing and running a school, but I've got no complaints about the way they're doing things. What makes AGCS unique to you? What makes it unique to me? Um, just, I guess, the relationships here. Um, again, since it is smaller, it, you can't really have a click because like you know so many people, and so it's unique in that. And also, um, just the people that go here, there's, there's so many different kinds of people and just like people with different interests and stuff, like with arts and a bunch of other things and um, it's not so much butting heads, but it's just learning about each other um, and being friends anyway kind of thing. So I do like that about the school. Um, and I just say all the different people here and the teachers and how personal they are and how funny they are. So. Is the, is a mixture of the support system as well as the freedom of expression. Um, you are told to do what you want to do and are, you get guidance on what you want to do and not just what everyone else is doing and I know I have a different path that I'm doing for my career and I've gotten only support and only people trying to help me along my path with that and so yeah, the uniqueness about Charter is that there are so many support of teachers and staff members and they're just trying to get you to be the best person you can be, which is excellent. Because you develop a lot of relationships with like, you basically know, like, I probably know, like, every, every kid in the high school. Yeah. And like, that, that's really nice because like, you, if you have like homework problems or something, you can just like go up and be like, hey man, what's up, do you know the homework, <laughs> or hey dude, what's up, do you want to hang out or something. So it's really nice to be able to like, talk to everybody and then, just the teachers are really nice too, so. I think we have some real interesting teachers and mm -hmm. interesting characters and, um, you know, some people that can really make learning fun and 
and, and while we're all starting to age a little bit, I would say <laughs> these teachers are still kind of still a little bit on the younger <laughs> side compared to most of your public schools where a lot of those teachers are um, in, you know, maybe tenured uh, staff and, you know, can't go anywhere regardless of how well they perform. So I think that that kind of part's unique as well. Can you see yourself here 10 years from now and do you think that this school can, based on what you've, you've seen for a little bit, um, do you think it can truly become something great? Um, I could see, certainly see myself here in 10 years. Uh, and do I think it could be something great? I think it's, I think it's great right now and that it is something drastically different. And whereas before you had school districts which really had no alternative for their students, uh, I think this provides a much needed alternative. And I think we've been able to help kids in a way that uh, some of the other public schools that we draw on haven't been able to. And I think that's I mean, what's not great about that. I went into this uh, documentary trying to find an answer to the question, what makes Charter unique? And the answer kind of surprised me in the fact that it was so simple. Uh, the, uh, I walked the halls with it. I high-fived it. I was competitive with it. I learned from it. The answer was so simple because it's you. The people that make up this school is what makes it so unique. The teachers, the staff, the students, everybody as a whole really make this school what it is. Now, I, I've gone to Charter for six years and that's a large portion of my life that I've put into it. And I can't be more proud of it and where it's put me and how it's developed me as a person. It's really made me strong. It's made me realize that I'm somebody, that I can be something, and that I can do something with my life. It's actually changed my mindset as a person. It's so great in that sense, and it's something that I'm going to find really hard to leave. It brings such a joyful atmosphere that I don't know what it's going to be like when I leave uh, and I go out to the, the normal world and you now have to deal with other people uh, because I've grown so used to them. And this school is going to become something great. It's going to be bigger, maybe even better than it is the way I'm leaving it. And that's because it's such a great school and I'd find it hard and I wouldn't believe if it didn't get better when I left. I'm graduating soon and uh, I'm, I'm gonna find it really hard to leave. But I can leave happy just knowing that this school is going, is it's in good hands. And that does make me really happy. So goodbye Charter.